ladies and gentlemen, today we have some special visitors coming in. As you've seen before, we have our special group of true leaders and they have a really important lesson that they would like to share with you today, having to do with our anti-bullying program, Not In Our Town. Do you guys see a lot of bullying here in the fourth grade? I was the bullied in fifth grade and it was really difficult for me. Um, I had a lot of trouble that year. You're always looking over your shoulder, making sure no one's there. You're just, you're always scared. You don't know they could do it any time, lunch, be even in class. You just don't know when it's gonna happen. Does someone want to share what, uh, how, it, like they've seen it before? Yes, you in the back. This little kid was calling this girl names, like, um, and throwing blue chips at her. And like, he was just like calling her names every day and like just being mean. Did you do anything when you saw it happen? I told Aiden he got in trouble. Good job. Our goal here today is to show you guys how to be an active bystander instead of being a passive bystander. Another way of calling an active bystander is an upstander because they're standing up for something or someone. To be an active bystander, you could tell someone, like your teacher, you could support the victim, and you could intervene, meaning telling the bully to stop. Who can you tell when you're telling someone? So who can you come up to and tell? You can tell the, um, you can tell your teacher or you can tell a true leader like you guys. How can you help support the victim? You can be their friend. When we're talking about intervening, what does that mean? What is the word intervene? Um, like, to, like, stop the bully from being mean to the, to the person that's being bullied and just help out the person that was being bullied. Uh-huh. What are some ways that you could intervene? Go up to him and tell him to stop. You could um, go tell one of your friends and they could come and help you stop the bully. You can tell anyone on campus like that's like older. Okay, so you can tell an older person. I want three volunteers to come up here and show me ways that they can be bullies, victims, and bystanders. Okay, so I'm gonna let you three act out one way you could tell someone by reporting it. Hey you, give me that ball. Why should I? Because it's, I want that ball. It's my ball. Who cares? I, I want that ball. First. I don't that's, really that's her ball. Sorry, you're going to have to go find that ball. You're a loser. You don't have any friends. You probably have imaginary friends, don't you? Hey, just leave her alone and stop bugging her. You need, you need to stop being me. You're not good at anything. You can't kick a soccer ball or play baseball or throw a basketball or anything. Yes, I can. You're not good at anything. Then stop, stop calling her names, Connor. Come on, Megan, let's go play. That was good. Because he went up to her and asked her to be his friend instead of just her being all alone. So good job, everybody. Does anybody have any questions that they'd like to ask? Where does bullying mostly happen? Well, where do you guys think it mostly happens? Sometimes on the bus there's a lot of bullying. Okay, good. What do you do if you try to intervene and somebody and the bully starts bullying you? That's a really good question and when you do that, you just say, hey, knock it off. That's not what I'm here to do. I was trying to stop them. And then you can go and get someone to help them. Going through this program, being a true leader, it changed me. It made me stronger um, mentally. Now I know how to handle bullying, and I know how to handle it when someone's getting bullied. OK, so I hope this lesson today has taught everybody something. Has everybody learned something today? Yes. yes. OK.